I'm a victim of passion. Passion is a parasite. Once passion crept in, it altered my perspective, tampered with my logic, changed my priorities, and convinced me that following its lead is the only way. Growing up in war-torn Sri Lanka, when the sound of a bomb deafened my ears, when an explosion of an oil reservoir blackened the sky with smoke, when I realized that blood on a tarred road is not red, but purple, passion sucked all hatred out of me and made me see that the world is still beautiful. An alarm went off at school for bomb drills. We crawled under a desk with a pencil held across our teeth like hapless dogs. Passion hummed a tune in my ears. Passion is an opportunist. It attracted the attention of educators, universities, and even scholarships. It used me as a travel companion all the way to the United States, expecting me to believe that the people I love and the people who love me will still be there when I come back home. Passion is a realist. It helped me to loosen my blindfold of naivete. I would introduce myself to people. My name is Taranga, and I'm from Sri Lanka. In a matter of minutes, they would be confused if my name is Taranga or Sri Lanka. It was amusing at first, but made me feel very small very quickly. Then passion patted me on the back, saying, small country does not mean small people. <laughs> I learned that the reason I get mistaken for the cleaning lady is my skin tone. Passion had me blame the weather of tropical countries and refused to let me hold grudges on those who judged me. Passion is a taskmaster. When doubts crept in, my vision blurred. Passion forced focus. It had me it, it had me uh, want to uh, be, be on my tiptoes, having me earn small accomplishments. This was especially true during my years at Juilliard. High expectations, encouraging applause, knowledge stared right in the eye like an ocean I needed to swallow, a sip at a time. Pressure, excitement, a test of patience, and urgency to improve an unimaginable dream. Passion is a mentor. Passion has an agenda. It needed me to be equipped with the best of tools. It is shrewd. It had me collect little pebbles of failure to use as stepping stones. It had me pluck a few flowers of achievement along the way. It instilled me an unquenchable thirst for knowledge, expecting me to live through Mozart, debate with Freud, figure out Picasso. It demands that I realize that I understand that there is no difference between performing at Lincoln Center, a children's hospital, Carnegie Hall, or a home for the elders. Pride is toxic. Humility is fuel. Finally, I walk on stage. I let go, I surrender, I believe, I give in. Passion and I fly. Mm -hmm.